everyone, this is Alex Man and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this video, we are again going to solve some word problems using the applications of the right triangles. But this time, we will use the angle of elevation and the angle of depression. So without further ado, let's begin. Two common applications of right triangles involve an observer or a point of reference located on the horizontal and an object that is either above or below the horizontal. If the object is above the horizontal, tinatawag natin yung angle as the angle of elevation and if the object is below the horizontal, we call it as the angle of depression. We use these two terminologies sa mga susunod nating example. And this is our figure. Above the horizontal, this is the angle of elevation. And ito naman, below the horizontal, yun yung ating angle of depression. Ito, itong gumagalo na ito, this is the line of sight natin. Be careful when interpreting the angle of depression, yung both angle of elevation natin and the angle of depression are measured between the line of sight. Ito yung line of sight natin and the horizontal line. Example number 1. At a point A, 123 feet from the base of a tree, the drawing na agad natin, this is the horizontal ground. Ito yung ating tree. Ayan. At point A, ito yung point A natin, ang layo niya sa base of the tree, ito yung base ay 123 feet and this is the point A. Kailangan i-label natin ang tama. The angle of elevation to the top of the tree is 26 degrees 40 minutes. Angle of elevation is yung angle na above the horizontal line and this is the horizontal line. Ang line of sight natin ay hanggang top ng tree. Ayan. So this is the top. Angle of elevation again is 26 degrees 40 minutes. The question, determine the height of the tree. Ano daw yung height ng tree? Since we have given an angle of elevation and alam natin itong side na ito, hahanapin na ito, considering this as a right triangle, the tangent ratio ngayon from the trigonometric function natin involves all the given values, the angle and the 123 feet na side. Tangent, ang angle natin is 26 degrees 40 minutes opposite is yung height na hindi natin alam height over adjacent natin na 123 feet and solving for the height height is equal to we cross multiply 123 feet times tangent 26 degrees 40 minutes and by calculating Height natin is equal to 61.8 feet. This is the answer for example number 1. Example number 2. From the top of a 210 feet tall building, a man observes a woman that is 430 feet far from the base of the building. Let's draw na agad. Say this is the building. Ang height nito is 210 feet. And yung man natin is nandito sa top of the building. And in observe ni yung woman na ang layo sa base ng building ay 430 feet. This is the woman and ito yung ating man. The question now, determine the angle of depression from the top of the building to the foot of the woman. Considering this as a right triangle, alam na agad natin ito, ito yung line of sight. Nung nag-observe naman, ang tinatanong sa atin is yung angle of depression. And ang location nun is eto. Horizontal line between the horizontal line natin, horizontal line and the line of sight, the angle of depression. Again, considering a triangle, itong 210 feet natin ito ay equal lang din dito sa part nito. Since we have a right triangle, 210 feet din ito. And to solve for this, gagamitan lang ulit natin ng another trigonometric function. And since we have given a height of the building and this distance, 
tangent ratio ulit ang gagamitin natin. And for tangent, theta, say this is theta, yung angle of depression na we are solving, tangent theta is equal to, ang opposite is yung 210. And ang adjacent natin is yung 430 feet na equal lang din naman dito. Angle theta is equal to transferring the tangent function arc tangent times 210 over 430. Angle theta natin is equal to by calculating we have 26 degrees. This is the answer for the angle of depression for example number 2. Example number 3. From the top of a building that overlooks a wide field, a man watches a boy running directly toward the building. Draw it natin. This is the building. And yung observer natin ay nandito sa top. From the top of the building, a man watches a boy. This is the man. Nandito yung boy. Running directly toward the building. This is the boy. And papunta daw siya dito. Tumatak siya papunta dito. If the man is 100 feet above the field, okay, this is 100 feet daw yung taas niya above the field. And if the angle of and the and if the angle of depression of the boy changes from 25 degrees to 40 degrees, we have two observations here. No unang observation niya, nandito pa yung boy natin, say this is point A. Ang unang angle of depression is 25 degrees. And since yung boy natin ay tumatakbo papunta sa building, Yung second observation niya ay, say, nandito na siya, yung boy, point B. Ito na yung boy, yung tumatakbo. The second angle of depression ay 40 degrees. Calculate the distance that the boy travels. Ang tinatanong natin is yung na-travel ng boy sa point, sa two point, of, sa two point of observations ng ating Man, ito ang distance na tinatanong sa atin. Labeling yung two angles of depression natin, say this is angle alpha and this is angle beta. To solve for itong part na ito, we have to consider the whole right triangle. Ito yung isang main na right triangle na consider natin. And this is the 100 feet. Ito yung hindi natin alam. This point A. Ito yung point B. Ito ang inahanap natin. Hindi natin alam din ito. Ang alam lang natin yung dalawang angle of depression natin. And para malaman ito, kailangan alam muna natin itong part na ito. So to solve for this, say this is x and this is y. Solve for y muna. Solving for y, gagamitin natin itong maliit na triangle na ito. Since alam natin yung angle of depression na yan. So, draw ulit natin. This is the y. Ito ay 40 degrees. And since yung 100 feet na to ay equal lang din naman dito, pwedeng umitin na natin itong right triangle na ito. We will use that tangent function. Tangent 40 degrees is equal to, ang opposite ay 100 feet. Ang adjacent ay yung y since equal lang naman ito. And solving for y, y is equal to tangent 40 degrees equals 100 feet. And dividing both sides by tangent 40 degrees, y is equal to 100 feet over tangent 40 degrees. And by calculating y is equal to, y is equal to approximately 120 feet. And hindi pa yung ating final answer. Inanap natin is yung value ng x. And to solve for the value of x, gagamitin na natin yung buong right triangle. Ito. We will use the tangent function ulit. This time, ang gagamitin natin angle is yung angle 25 degrees. Ito siya. This is the 25 degrees. So, tangent 25 degrees is equal to ito na yung ating triangle is equal lang naman yan. Opposite ay 100 feet pa din. Ito, equal dito. 100 feet over x plus y. 
saan yun? Ito yun. Since ito ay equal lang din dito sa top. Considering a right triangle. Alam na natin yung value ng y. Therefore, we can solve the value of x. So, we cross multiply. Is x plus y. Tangent 25 degrees equals 100 feet. We distribute the tangent 25 degrees is x tangent 25 degrees. Since alam na natin yung y plus y tangent 25 degrees is equal to 100 feet. Alam na natin itong value na to. Ang inahanap lang natin is yung x. So lipat natin sa kabila. x tangent 25 degrees is equal to 100 minus y natin is 120 feet tangent 25 degrees. Solving only for x, dividing both sides by tangent 25 degrees, x now is equal to 100 minus 120 tangent 25 degrees over tangent 25 degrees and x now is equal to by calculating value of x is approximately 95 feet this is the answer for example number three example number four from a given point on the ground the angle of elevation to the top of the pole is 36.7 degrees so this is the ground and this is our pole from a given point down Say this is the first point, point A. Ang angle of elevation niya to the top of the pole is 36.7 degrees. Another point further from the pole, mas malayo daw sa pole, located 50 feet from the first point. Say point B. This is 50 feet na distance. And ang angle of elevation niya sa point B to the top of the pole ay... 22.2 degrees. Calculate the height of the pole. Ito ang ating hinahanap for example number 4. And solve for that. Using the tangent function and this angle of elevation, 22.2 degrees. Tangent 22.2 degrees is equal to opposite ay h. And ang adjacent natin ay 50 feet. Plus, itong part na to. Let's say this is x plus x. And using the angle of elevation at 36.7 degrees in the tangent function, tangent 36.7 degrees is equal to height ulit na opposite over simply x lang. Now, we have two equations and we have two unknowns. Ito, by derivation, this will be h equals 50 plus x times tangent 22.2 degrees. Bakit? Kinross multiply lang natin. Ito, ito naman, this is h equals x times tangent 36.7 degrees. We are going to solve for the height. Solving for x, equate natin itong dalawang equation ito. So, this is x tangent 36.7 degrees equals 50 plus x tangent 22.2 degrees and we distribute this. Solving for x again, x tangent 36.7 degrees equals 50 tangent 22.2 degrees plus x tangent 22.2 degrees. Combining like terms, itong pareho may x natin, Lipat natin sa kabilang side of the equation. This is now x tangent 36.7 degrees minus, dahil tinransfer na siya, naging negative, x tangent 22.2 degrees equals 50 tangent 22.2 degrees. And solving for x, if factor out natin yung x, magiging x times Tangent 36.7 degrees minus tangent 22.2 degrees equals 50 tangent 22.2 degrees. Solving again for our x, divide both sides by ito. So, matitira sa left side of the equation is simply x na lang equals 50 
tangent 22.2 degrees over tangent 36.7 degrees minus tangent 22.2 degrees. And by calculating, x now is equal to approximately 60.5 feet. This is not our final answer yet and let's continue to the next page. Using either of the first two equations natin and gagamitin na lang natin para mas simple yung h equals x tangent 36.7 degrees. Since alam na natin itong x, masolve na natin yung value ng h. h now is equal to ang value ng x natin ay 60.5 feet times tangent 36.7 degrees by calculating ang height natin is equal to approximately 45 feet. This is the answer for example number 4. Example number 5. In front of an observer 8 meters above the ground is a tall tower. Ito yung ating point observation. Ito yung ating observer na ang taas ay 8 meters. And sa harap niya, meron isang tall tower. Okay, this is the tower. The angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 47.5 degrees. Ito yun. This is 47.5 degrees. The angle of, the, the angle of depression to the base of this tower simply is 18 degrees. Find the height of the tower. This is the requirement. Ito yung height na hinahanap natin. Of course, we will use the trigonometric function na tangent ulit. And pwede nating paghiwalayin ng solving by the two angles natin, yung angle of elevation and angle of depression. Kaya lang, the problem is, hindi natin alam itong value na ito. To solve for the final answer natin na height ng tower natin, we need to find first itong value na ito. Say this is B x. And solving for x, gamitin na lang natin yung angle of depression natin na 18 degrees. Since alam na natin yung value na to, we already have 8 meters dahil equal lang naman ito dito sa part na ito. Tangent 18 degrees equals ang opposite ay 8 meters over ang adjacent ay x. So x now is equal to cross multiply is tangent 18 degrees equals 8 and dividing both sides by tangent 18 degrees to cancel x is equal to 8 over tangent 18 degrees x now will equal to 24.62 meters pero hindi yan ang final answer natin since alam na natin yung x na ito pwede na natin isolve itong isang Height. And kapag na-solve natin ito, pag a din natin yung makukuha nating height na to plus dito sa 8 meters and ito yung makukuha natin na final answer na. Okay, this is height 1 and this is the height final. Solving for height 1, we use the angle of elevation of 47.5 degrees tangent. 47.5 degrees is equal to the height 1 over x. Alam na natin yung value ng x. Solving for height 1, we cross multiply. Height 1 is equal to x tangent 47.5 degrees. And height 1 is equal to substituting value of x na 24.62 meters times tangent 47.5 degrees. Height 1 natin is now equal to 26.87 meters. Now, pwede na natin isolve yung height of the tower natin. Ang ating height final is equal to 26.87 meters plus yung 8 meters natin. Ang height final natin is equal to 34.87 meters. This is the final answer, the height of the tower. And that's all for the angle of elevation and angle of depression. Please like and share, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.